We are back here to Zikta with the five minutes from Zikta. And uh, we know we've had uh, this program running, and yes, I was absent for a while, and my colleagues have done quite a good job. We've continued actually bringing on our many partners, the people that are working with us to ensure that as we regulate, we are actually involving every stakeholder so that uh, the ICT sector continues performing and you, the consumers, get the very, very best. Today, we are with our twin agency, and this is the IBA, uh, Independent Broadcasting Authority, and we talk today on just how well we're working to ensure that you get the very best. And with me today, this evening, is uh, Dr. Sinkala. Dr. Sinkala, as usual, brothers us, we push the same agenda. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Salan. It's good to be here, and uh, it's a program that we've been following, we've been watching. It's a wonderful program. But you know, a lot of people have been wondering, how are we working together? Because both of us are in a space that looks very, very similar. And when I tell them, people say, oh no, there's this thing on social media, and you zipped are not doing anything, and you guys are never mentioned. Why do you think that is? Well, we are, we're working very uh, well. Um, our two acts, um, they allow us to consult one another before decisions are made. As you are aware, the IBA is uh, the main regulator in the broadcasting industry, but we cannot go ahead and uh, license anyone without consulting our, our, twin, <laughs> our twin sister or twin brother, uh, Zikta. So before we can go and advertise for any available frequencies or where we need to put any new broadcasting uh, facilities, we still sit down with um, Zikta to see uh, if there are any available frequencies that is in the, in the FM. And also, even as we look at any other plan in terms of um, future expansion, as we look at the needs of the broadcasting sector, we do talk to Zikta from time to time. For me, what has really been interesting is that uh, when people ask uh, on maybe some of the bad things that are happening on social media, and they come and say, hey, Zikta, you're not doing anything. I feel I have the mandate to say, you know what, uh, we do the pipes, we are yeah. the plumbers, yeah. and then the electricians, uh, IBM. <laughs> yes. So maybe uh, what we always would want to also tell the people out there is just how well we've been working together. Because yeah. I know, for instance, you're talking about frequencies, but I also know that going forward next year, we are obviously going to work together uh, to meet these many stakeholders. The convergency in the ICT sector should just not be on paper. Yeah. And we are obviously working together. But uh, what are some of the challenges that you think uh, we are having right now, especially when it comes to the big white elephant in the room and that's social media? The social media, well, um, at the moment our act um, yes, gives us the mandate to regulate uh, content, but does not go beyond the ordinary radio or TV. So we may need a bit more uh, maybe revision in the, in the act to allow us to regulate content even on the social media. At the moment, the social media, we use it as a hint or to give you a clue of what is happening with our radio stations and our, our TV stations. But I think um, in other countries that we've been to, we've seen how regulators have started looking at uh, the content also on the social media because the social media has had a lot of negative effects on our, on our society and just even as a, a, as a country on our economy. Yeah, it is true. Uh, for me, uh, I think uh, what we actually need to do is to ride on each other's uh, activities. Very true. And, and for this aspect, you know, the consumer uh, uh, department at, uh, at, our, at our institution has got a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. And you coming in, uh, we think that we can actually even build something bigger. Because That's everybody's true. looking up to us. That's very true. That's very true. We have uh, an obligation, of course, to inform our society or to inform our Zambian public but we also have a responsibility to ensure that what goes out is, is um, acceptable and the content is correct. Do you have any programs that you obviously are going towards the year, but uh, some of the things that you've done within the year that... Uh, well, it's be been a very active year, uh, Mr. Salah. We've had um, stakeholders meetings with uh, all our licensees where we've been telling them how important it is for them to look at the content before they broadcast because the, you know, the respect people have for what comes out of the radio station and what comes out of a TV station. So we've been reminding them that they need to be responsible and ethical in their broadcasting so that the content that goes out is, is correct. And also we, we try and remind them that they need to use the equipment that is approved by Zikta because <laughs> we know that we may give them the license, but if Zikta went there and they found that they're using uh, not approved uh, equipment or type approval, 
they can confiscate and they will not be broadcasting. So we obviously, keep on reminding. Obviously on that, you know, we're talking about quality of service. Because True. when you look at quality of service, we're just not looking at mobile. We're also looking at quality of service of you know, these TV uh, stations that you have, the radio stations. Very that true. Have. And that is what you're talking about, us moving in, and if we find substandard uh, equipment, we usually take over. But Off obviously, stage, yes. working in hand, in hand with you, and we know when we had uh, 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 the famous uh, shutting down of some radio stations, and people said, oh, Zikta, and they just didn't know that we worked together. So for, for me, one of the biggest things that has happened this year, actually, is the continuation of uh, us trying to you know, bring up the name of IBA. Uh, right, very true. And, and IBA really needs to sit in a space where people can uh, understand what you guys are all about. I remember at the Agriculture Show and Trade Fair, people came to our stand and said, where is IBA? And yeah. for us, we, fe we felt that, hey, no, no, they're not here, but uh, I'm There's thinking <laughs> next year, we yeah, should we be in the same pavilion. We should, we should be, yes. We should be working uh, even closely when it comes to the shows uh, for the sake of dissemination of information. But also I wanted to uh, bring something interesting that you know the mobile companies are also coming to the party they want now to start doing video on demand yes. so our relationship will continue because all these MTN, Airtel, uh, these are uh, fiber uh, providers they all want to start broadcasting using video on demand so we keep on working hand in hand and people should look out look out for the new technologies that are we say imaging issues in ICT True. you've heard it here uh, IBA is being accosted by a lot of uh, you know, well-meaning investors that we want to have video on demand uh, using uh, the mobile services that we have. And today we had IBA with us today and we want to tell you that next week we are back again with a very interesting partner also. So we're looking at the aspect of making sure that the ICT sector keeps on pushing the agenda of bringing not only uh, ICT purposes but also entertainment to your doorstep. So thank you very much for staying with us uh, this evening and we look forward to seeing you next week.